Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome to another little vlog. I know it's been a while, hasn't it, since I last uploaded one. Um, as you can see I'm currently out for a bit of a walk. Um, while I can. Ooh, using up my drink now, brilliant. So yeah, I'm uh, back at work tomorrow. So today is my, like my last day off for the what well, that covered the Christmas. Um, I've been off since uh, Wednesday of last week. Um, yeah, Wednesday because we're now on Monday now. So yeah, it was uh, yeah Wednesday last week. That's how long I've been off for for the past five days. Today is actually day five of me being off. So yeah, I'm back to work tomorrow, uh, but I'm only in for two days, and then I'm off again for New Year. I've got three days for New Year off, so I'm not working New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the day after New Year's Day. Um, then I'm back to work again, probably back to normal after that. But I uh, hope everybody's had a nice Christmas, by the way. Um, I know most of us haven't had... I haven't been able to do much over the Christmas period because of the restrictions and the virus and everything and uh, obviously a lot of places in the UK just setting my drink down there a lot of people in the UK are now going on this tier 4 thing which um, is like strictly you know strictly you can't um, probably can't mix with people outside your own household and things and you can only go shopping um for essentials and uh work obviously so that's all you can do um so it's looking like hull could also be joining the list of places in the uk for the tier four thing where once we get christmas out the way um so yeah that's something a little bit annoying um, but to be honest with you I don't bother um, I don't bother celebrating New Year um, I just don't see the point me and my dad we've never really celebrated New Year we, we welcome it in you know, like you do we watch the, the firework display and everything every year on telly um, but that's as far as we do we just have a little drink and we just chill out that's all we really do um but this year i will be celebrating because 2020 for many of us for almost probably for everybody has been a very testing time um i've lost loved ones this year many other people have also lost loved ones this year um obviously i lost both my grandparents within the last eight weeks give or take um, so I had to deal with their funerals and everything um, f with them um, and obviously I've been working really hard as well because obviously with my type of work um, I've got no choice you know I've, I'm on the front line I'm a, what, what's known as a key worker and uh, so I've had to I've been working really hard, missed out on precious time with my grandparents because I've stayed away as you're supposed to do. I've been staying away from, from oh, I, I stayed away for, uh, for a good portion of the of this year because my granddad, before he passed away, he was bedridden for quite a while. Um, for a better part of a year, he was, he was just bedridden. He could barely get out of the bed. He had good days and bad days. And then obviously he finally we, we finally found out that I think it was his cancer that came back and he just was too weak to fight it. And they couldn't put him on any chemo because it was he was just too weak. He wouldn't be able to do it. So unfortunately, I think it was I'm pretty sure it was the cancer he, that came back that kind of claimed his life in the end. Um and then obviously my grandma, we think she essentially died of a broken heart, I think, because uh our health declined rapidly 
Um, she went into hospital mostly just for a, a blood clot on her lung that she's had for a little bit. Um, and while she was in hospital, her health just declined. She wouldn't eat. She stopped eating properly. She and uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, so yeah, she stopped eating, and um, she just she just died in the hospital. And uh, so yeah, I missed out on precious precious time this past year um, because of the virus. Ever since March, April of this year, I've uh, obviously because of me working in a supermarket, um, I didn't want to pass anything on that I might have picked up, you see. So I wanted to stay away because my granddad was bedridden at the time. Um, and obviously my grandma, you know, I didn't want to pass anything over. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, it's just, you know, one of them things, isn't it? I don't know. It's just it's so difficult for me to come to terms that obviously I missed out on precious time with them, and I never even got to say goodbye to them. Um, never even got to say goodbye to them. You know, at, you know, on their, you know, be there when they passed away, like I was when my mum passed away. So yeah, but they're both together now. They're reunited again. In the in the other plane of existence, looking down, probably looking down on us, and now at peace, no longer in pain, and that's what I'm trying to trying to keep my mind on, uh, focused on. But uh, but yeah, it's been it's, it was a nice Christmas for me. Um, it, we didn't do much. <clears throat> it was just me, my dad, and my dad's girlfriend. That is literally our social bubble. Um, so yeah, we, we don't mingle, we don't go around to anyone else's houses. Um, literally the only people my me and my dad actually see is my dad's girlfriend at the moment. Um, she comes to us every two weeks and we go to that and my dad goes to see her, but we don't know what's going to happen with this tier four thing. Um, you know, I don't know if they might have to maybe knock it on the head if this does come into force. Um, but yeah, there was just the three of us this year. Um, yeah, it was it was it was all right. You know, I just chilled out, had a few drinks over the last few days, um, and got spoilt. I got a lot of really awesome presents, uh, which you would have seen on Facebook um, and Instagram because I posted them on there. And. Uh, yeah, it was just it was just a chilled out Christmas. Just watched some Christmas movies, uh, watched the Muppets Christmas Carol and Home Alone one and two, which has to be done. Um, and that's pretty much it. That was pretty much my Christmas. It was just a very simple one, <clears throat> and I think most people had a simple Christmas this year because of obviously a lot of a lot of places in the UK have already gone into tier four already. Um, and I think some places are going to follow after Christmas, probably in the new year. Um, but uh, yeah, so so yeah, I'm just going to carry on with my walk now, and uh, that's that. So thank you very much for watching, people. And uh, I'll be making a review for my main channel, my TF Nosy channel, very soon. Um, for on something that I've got for Christmas, so that'll be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and uh, happy New Year to everyone. Hope you have all, have all have a nice New Year, and let's hope 2021 is a little bit better than last year. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know we're going to have to deal with this virus for a little bit longer, probably up till about April, probably around about April time, because that's when the fair lawn system is is being extended to, I believe. So we could be up to this virus, we could be dealing with it up to about March or April uh, next year. But hopefully I'm looking forward to just look for the future, you know, look for the future and put this whole awful situation behind us and hopefully we can move on um but we'll see 
So thank you. See you soon, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.